Hi everybody, welcome to another Carrera tutorial. I'm Kreitman. What we're going to do this time through is we're going to make a hologram. And uh, the process is really going to be easy. It has mostly to do with the shaders, if you want to skip the tutorial. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. First of all, let's uh, grab an object. Uh, I had a good one here. Oh, there we go. This is kind of like a... I took one of the uh, poser figures and I... I uh, it mapped it differently but uh, yeah we're gonna call this guy Hal and it's just a low-res poser figure and we're not gonna pose him too much but I want to get him set because he is going to be the hologram there we go make him not so default there we go All right, now uh, we got our guy, <clears throat> and let's go ahead and get started. First of all, let's uh, see what we got. Let's do a render. That's okay. We'll make this a little more interesting, so we can, so it'll show up in the uh, uh, hologram. Take this here. Take this here. There we go. Much more better. Now, uh, yeah, I think we pretty much got it. Let's uh, check them out again. Okay, cool. Oh, you know what? Let's go ahead and set this up too. Take key proportions off, and we want to make the hologram as tall as the subject. So instead of 640 by 480, let's do 480 by 640 kapow and now when we render see see where our production frame is now our guy can be rendered without any uh, hassle uh, before we do anything else let's go ahead and go over here too let's bring our focal point in a little bit There you go, he kind of fits in there a little bit better. A little bit. There we go, that'll work. Okay, now you notice that there's a, I have, I picked this guy because he has a black uniform on and there's a black background. Well, what you can do is, I'm gonna take this guy, I'm gonna render this guy and you know what, before we do anything else, let's go ahead and make our brightness just a little bit more. Yeah, that's kind of much. 150 should do it. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, so we are we got our guy here. Now let's go ahead and do what we're going to do. Um, first of all, we're going to render. And then we're going to save as... I'm going to call him Hal. We already have one here, so we're going to have to replace it. Kapow, kapow. And uh, yeah, we really don't need this anymore. So let's go ahead and shut this. Kapow. And I have a basic hologram machine made up. And uh, it's not really anything special, so we're not going to focus on that too much. But what we want to do is we want to take a plane and drop it in our scene. Okay, you know what, let's face front first, now let's do that again, kapow, let's edit this, and the object we just made, it was our Green Lantern guy, or Hal, so let's look him up, find him, he's there, kapow, kapow, and you notice how Uh, it looks kind of oblong in the middle. It's not. Let's see what we got. No, oh, buh. Let's do camera one. Let's focus on that guy. Let's see what we got. Yeah, he's not very bright, is he? Let's copy this. Paste this. 
we wanted that 100% and see how bright he is now. Let's go ahead and give him a little something extra here. Let's go ahead and add a color. Our color is going to be green. I know it's a little uh, cliche, but this is what we're going to do. I don't want to make it too green. We just want to make it greenish. Everything is good here. Now, uh, let's take a look at him one more time before we add the final thing. See how he looks uh, kind of video-ish? It's kind of what we want. Let's jump over here and let's go ahead and, to the alpha and let's go ahead and add some scan lines. Oh, dang it. Let's go ahead and add some scan lines instead. <laughs> scan lines. And we're going to make that 120. Oh, my machine's really buzzing. See that? And that's your little video thing. Now, one last thing, and you don't want to you don't want to go too nuts with this part of it. But uh, going to Aura, let's edit it. Let's go ahead and play with this a little bit. I'm gonna make this green, 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 and more green. There you go. That's gonna give us a little blurriness there everything's good let's put that there and see how blurry he is that's kind of what you want well it's kind of what I want now this is the way I'd, I like to I like it to be just a little bit off and dreamy but uh, you know you can tweak it a little bit more if you want to now let's go ahead and take our objects push K or command K I'm gonna get everything all centered <coughs> Excuse me. Don't smoke, kids. Take this, bring it down, bring it back up, bring it around, Oop, bring it around. See that? Now you probably want to have it to where your your uh, object is facing the camera, but. Uh, I've always had, I really haven't ever had a whole lot of luck with the, with it facing the camera. You can have it face a different camera if you want. But yeah, that's just, that's pretty much our hologram effect. Uh, one thing you want to do when you're doing this, oh, it's a little bit better when you got your, what you, uh, something else you can do is make sure that your plane isn't taking any light. It's as bright as you want it to be via your um, glow shader. So uh, yeah, that's quick and that's easy. Uh, oh, something else too. If you have your lights, like this plane right here, uh, I didn't turn off my highlights, I don't think. So that's something to, that you want to take into consideration when you're playing with this stuff. So anyway. That's your hologram, and that's it for this time. I'm Kreitman, and I'll talk to you again later.